morning everybody, it's 5.30 a.m. and I've been up since 5. And I'm like, I told myself I better get up before I don't, so here I am. So right now I'm going to show you what I'm working on. I already had the car loaded from my last art sale because I'm like, there's no way in heck that I'm going to unload my car and then load it, load, it, load it again for another sale. So these last minute items, like I want to load my tripods and then this is my bag of stuff to do because it's going to be a long day. I have the sides for my tent this time and then my cash box. So yeah, just kind of getting those last minute items loaded up. I loaded my candles, so those are in there. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm doing Thursdays on First in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm actually very excited that I got into this venue and and it's kind of a pretty big milestone for me as an artist to get into it. So I'm just really excited. I am very tired as you can tell from my eyes and stuff like that. But I'm getting ready here and then I got to stop at a friend's house. She broke her foot so I'm going to drop her off some food. And then I'm going to head to, uh, I think, I hope, hopefully Savers is open pretty early in the morning. I'm going to drop a box of clothes off there. And then I'm going to get myself some Dunkin Donuts. It's so funny. So I'm in this era of budgeting, right? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm not gonna spend the $5 on the coffee or whatever, I'm gonna save my money. Granted, it's more than $5. And then I have this TikTok pop up, like from my memories a year ago, this was yesterday. So for the last couple of days, my attitude's been sucking and I am not all live, love, laugh. I'm trying to save money, but I made a nail appointment. I got myself Dunkin' because it makes me feel good. Am I advertising emotional spending? Well, that is questionable. However, if you're having a shit day like myself or even a crap week, even though it's Monday, spend the $5 because you'll feel better and we can drink coffee together. Yesterday was probably one of the worst days I've had in a very long time. I'm getting my coffee. And you never know, you could die tomorrow and you could never have that iced coffee so you could never go wrong. All right. Be in the car, ready to go. I think I have all my things. I think. I hope I don't get a wheel to the head back here. <laughs> I really need to figure out a better way to pack that thing in my car. But anyway, we're ready to rumble and I'm not bringing that box to Savers because they don't open till nine. We're supposed to get rain, so I don't know if that's gonna delay my plans at all. So we're just gonna ride the wave, baby. Dude, this is madness. There's so much traffic. All right, so I'm waiting for this white van to move. People are unloading. It's like everything at once. There was this one guy on the side of the road hollering at me. He's like, hey, sexy. And I just looked down and I'm like, really? Really? You're gonna talk to a lady like that? It's like, if I, if I had your mama's phone number, I'd call right up. I'd tell you how to respect a woman. I'm not, a, I'm not sexy, I'm beautiful. Okay, so there were a team of people that like came in and swarmed me and they're like, hey, do you need help? And I was like, actually, yeah, and I'm trying to get better about receiving help. Seriously, we unloaded my entire car in like 10 minutes. That was awesome. It's 9.45 and the event starts in an hour and 15 minutes, even though I'll probably still be setting up by the time it starts. We're in good spirits. It's going to be a great day, I think. <laughs>
These are my friends from Hungary, and they're sporting the new anklets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It is almost 11 p.m. and I decided to go to Walmart and go grocery shopping so I didn't have to make another trip. I'm crazy. <laughs> Today went fairly well. I had quite a few really cool people come in my booth and kind of share their, you know, stories about their life and stuff like that. And I just think that that's really neat. Today went very well. I think I got kind of busy towards the end. A lot of people wanted like special order bracelets, like these little tie-on ones. I don't have those on my website, but they wanted to pick like their own colors. And there's a couple people who even had me make them anklets and stuff like that. But overall, it was a very good day. I am dead ass tired. I'm ready for bed and my blankie and I just want to wash my face and roll in bed. I kind of I don't look like I'm like a raccoon. I'm a raccoon. <laughs> that was a very, very long day and I treated myself to this Olipop. I got the strawberry vanilla kind. So are you into that ASMR shit? Try it out. I don't know how I feel about that. It's growing on me. It was kind of like the ginger one too. Like when I first had it, I was like, I don't know if I really like it, but I do. I think it's really good, but I am fried. I am don't even know how much content I have. This might be a very short video or it might be 15 to 20 minute video. I don't know, we'll see. If you're watching this, thank you for tuning in and watching. Let me know if you made it all the way to the end and if you're an artist or if you're thinking about doing art again, if it's something that you've kind of pushed away or forgotten in your life, I wanna hear your story about your life. Just share something cool about yourself, what your favorite food is, I don't know, something neat. I don't know, I kinda wanna engage with you guys more and learn more about you guys because I feel like I'm always talking and usually in a conversation I'm the person listening so yeah anyways I hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching my video and until the next sale peace out homages it's been real